In today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a leaf simulation. This could work for your nature animation scenes to add more details and depth to your environment. To follow along, you can download the leaf textures down below. Here inside Cinema 4D, create a plane and a new diffuse material. Let's build the leaf material. I'm going to show you the first material and fast forward to the rest of the materials. Import the color, normal and opacity map. Plug the color to the diffuse, normal to the normal slot, and the opacity to the opacity. We can also duplicate the color map and plug it here in the transmission slot, so the light travels throughout our material. Now we can apply the material to the plane and see the result. Let's add a light as well and I'm going to use the same process for all the other leaf material. Now that we have all the materials ready and applied to the dedicated plane, we can add more subdivisions for a better simulation. And now bake everything. Let's duplicate all the leaves, rotate so we have more for the simulation. Let's add a cloth tag to every object, so select them all. Right click, Simulation Tags, Cloth. Increase the timeline to 360 frames. Also, I'm going to turn off Octane so it's easier to work on the simulation. If we hit play, our leaves are going to fall so we know that the tag is working. Let's add some wind. For this, go to Simulate Menu, Forces, and Wind down here. Rotate 90 degrees and place it below the leaves. Select all the cloth tags and drag the wind simulation in the Forces tab here. If we now hit play, you will see that the wind isn't strong enough to go against the gravity, so we need to increase the wind speed here. Put 2000, hit play to see the result. One thing you have to watch out for is here in the forces tab of your cloth tag, the mode has to be on include. I don't know why mine was on exclude. We can now keyframe the strength, so let's put 2000 at frame 0 and 0 at frame 150. Now we can introduce some turbulence, so go to the simulation menu, Forces, Turbulence. Put the strength at 100 and scale at 100, apply to the cloth tags. Let's see the result.
If we want to add more details, we can duplicate the turbulence force and make the scale bigger with a weaker strength. Once you're happy with your simulation, you can cache the simulation by grabbing all cloth tags. Go to the Cache tab and click on Cache Scene. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.